Hey guys, it's Chris from Survive and Thrive. So I'm continuing my uh, navigation series as I'm out here today, just hiking around. And someone so graciously cut this tree down a good while ago. So I got kind of a table to work with here. Um, this one I'm going to be showing you basic compass orientation, um, how to shoot an azimuth, how to line up your compass for north, south, east, west, so you can orient your, yourself. So it's just going to be a real basic... Uh, compass video so hang in there and we'll get right okay into guys it. so I have two compasses here um, this the reason I got a compass with a broken piece missing from it this is my first compass that I ever got when I first started uh, Cub Scouts a long time ago <laughs> um, so basically this is an older style compass Um, there's quite a few different styles of compass out there. Um, this is probably more common nowadays than this style of compass. Um, you can get a lot of little things like this at Walmart, Dick's Sporting Goods, REI, anything like that. Um, there's also newer ones or cooler ones that have a flip open that have a signaling device like a mirror. See how this one flip o flips open? They would have a mirror up here. Um, different things like that. They're really nice compasses. But for my purposes, uh, these two are the main ones I use. <clears throat> it's perfectly fine. They're easy to use. But I'm going to be discussing this compass today. I just wanted to show you guys this one. But um, it's really easy for anybody to use a compass like this. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you. I'm just lining this up. So my compass reads uh, northeast, southwest. Now an easy way to remember the directions of a compass if you're not looking at it is that you're going to move in a clockwise direction to remember this never eat soggy waffles N E S W. Um, I learned this way back in scouting when I first started learning how to use a compass and I've been using it ever since uh, it's just really easy a real simple way to remember the quarters or the four points on your compass now when we're using a compass, we want to use it, we want to hold it as flat and level to the ground as we can. Now, if you notice, it's already basically lining up with north. <clears throat> if you're wearing a zipper or metal buttons or anything, uh, you want to keep it away from your chest. I'll see a lot of people orient it by holding the compass really close to their chest. But if you have a lot of metal objects on you or something like that, it's actually going to screw with the compass. So, once we have this compass really nice and flat... So I'm going to orient it towards you like that. So, oh look, a mosquito. And another one. They're everywhere. Anyway, so we're going to do this. Now, to get a basic north direction, which the compass is almost pointing at it, I'll just twist it so it's not. What we're going to do is we want to line up this arrow with these two equal signs. Like this equal sign, or two uh, vertical lines on top which some people refer to it as the doghouse. I've heard that a few times from different people. So what we're going to do is, I'll call it the doghouse for this video. We're going to line that arrow up and get it inside that doghouse. So just for our purposes, we're going to rotate it. So right about there, I know I don't have the steadiest hand in the world. That's why I'm not a surgeon. Um, I've got it in north. Right there. I've got it in the doghouse. So I know this is my north direction and now my compass is oriented to that so if you have your compass twisted like this and you're not oriented that is not east it, that's not what it's pointing to this arrow will always point north okay guys so i showed you how to basically line up the north the arrow with north to orient your your compass or if you want to figure out which way you have to walk for north you can basically hold your compass in your hand i like to use two hands to hold it flatter anchor your arms so you're not out here like this or dipping you just anchor your arms here and you can rotate <clears throat> you can rotate your body until you line up that compass in the doghouse the arrow in the doghouse those two vertical lines we talked about so I know when I do that and that lines up that this is my north direction so I've oriented my body and my compass. Now the next thing I'm going to show you guys is how to shoot a basic azimuth, which an azimuth is 
shooting, if you notice on the edge of this compass, you have degrees. They move all the way around in between each uh, direction. Now those directions are degrees in and of themselves. It's kind of common sense to follow the pattern. So um, they got little, just like a measuring tape, they got little dashes in between that represent different uh, different degrees as well. 